All Corn County deputies protect and they serve the public on a regular basis. And this is even the case when they're hundreds of miles away from home. That's right. This morning we have a live interview with All Corn County Sheriff deputies and school resource officers Daryl Bullard and Fred Washington. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for being here with us. Good morning. So, Thank you for having us. What we're talking about here is a day where both of you just jumped into action as you saw something happening on the highway. This is in Jones County, four hours from your home. What happened? Actually, we thought when we was going down the highway, we actually thought it was a wreck yeah. when we came upon it. But then we noticed that it wasn't a wreck after we saw all the police cars chasing this vehicle. And as the vehicle hit the median and the guys got out and started running, we knew right then that we have to do something because we know we law enforcement officers. Yeah, that was going to be my question is what made you pull over, get out of the car? Like, what did you see that you were like, OK, we've got to step in. So why did you feel the need to protect the public, even though, you know, you are four hours from home? It's not your jurisdiction technically. But yeah, what was going through your minds? It actually comes to basic instinct. Uh, we just reacted uh, when we see a fellow officer needing assistance. It's just uh, training that we've received in the past and mm -hmm. it just you don't even have time to think, you just react. And that's what Deputy Washington and I did. You know, we reacted and assisted uh, those other officers and got those three fugitives in custody. So now looking on a personal level, can each of you tell us why you wanted to work in law enforcement to begin with? I want to do, I want to, you know, help and uh, protect and serve um, the city. Mm -hmm. So can you please repeat that question? We lost your sound for as soon as you started talking, we lost your sound and it came back as with your final words. Do you mind repeating that again? I said I did a ride along when I was younger uh -huh. uh, with a friend of mine that was a police officer and I had so much fun that night and I'm thinking, hey, this is a good uh, opportunity for me to get in law enforcement and kind of help, you know, help the community, help uh, fellow friends or whoever that uh, need some help. Okay, well, I kind of want to follow that question up with, you know, not only why did you join law enforcement, but why did you want to become a school resources? I mean, that was the purpose of that trip to the coast to go to a conference on school resource officers in the state. So what made you want to work with children in law enforcement? Well, the children this day and time, it's a hard time for them in this world. Uh, you know, when our sheriff, uh, Ben Caldwell, and our deputy chief, Dusty Esri, and then uh, our supervisor, Adam Rancher, initiated this program in 2019. Um, we were blessed to have this. I mean, you know, not only are we law enforcement officers, we are mentors to these uh, children and young adults. And, you know, our goal is not only to protect them and provide a safe environment for them, but to be a mentor and to keep them, you know, from going down the wrong road in life. So it's, 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 a, it's not only a calling, it, it's a true blessing. Uh, being a school resource officer. And I really, I've said this before with someone we interviewed from West Point, I really do think school resource officers have a great connection with children. I mean, I've been in several schools and I mean, even when I was in high school, they just have a, I don't know, a bond with them that is kind of unmatched with other adults in the school, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So uh, on that note, uh, anything that you'd like to say before we say goodbye? I'm hearing in my ear that we're running out of time. <laughs> Chief Dusty Esri and our supervisor Adam Richard for initiating this program and having the faith and Deputy Washington and I to be school resource officers. And thank God above. Well, thank you so much for your time again and thank you for what you do. I know that the uh, law enforcement around Laurel were grateful that you were there at that time. Yes, ma'am.